Hello everybody, this is Dr. Isha Bose, welcoming you to the second part of the video series on Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle. Let us take a brief recap of what we have already discussed in the last video. What we had seen was that the values of two conjugate variables like x and px, that is the position and momentum, cannot be simultaneously measured with infinite accuracy for a microscopic particle. The product of uncertainties in the simultaneous measurement of such conjugate variables always has a value more than that of x by 2. Now, the question arises that are there more such conjugate pairs connected by the uncertainty principle? The answer, my dear students, is yes. Then you may ask, what are those quantities? Let's find out. We will begin with our known pair of position and momentum, that is x and px. Their uncertainty in equation looks like so. In the next step, we introduce m and px in the numerator as well as the denominator. m is the mass of the particle and px is the position is the momentum as we have already discussed. In the next step, what essentially you are watching is that we have put the value of momentum as the product of and velocity. So essentially the mass term cancels, it, cancels itself. So in the left hand side we have a quantity delta x by dx which is nothing but the short interval of time delta t. Why so? Because see this velocity vx is nothing but dx dt delta x delta t. Focusing, the, focusing to the other part of the inequation, let us begin by remembering that the total mechanical energy of any system is given by the sum of kinetic and potential energies, which in our system can be written as px squared by twice m plus v, where v is the potential energy. And remember, it is only a function of position. Now, if we differentiate this equation with respect to px, what we get is dE dpx is equal to dx by m. If I take this dpx from left hand side to the right hand side, I have a new equation dE is equal to px by m dpx, which is simply equivalent to delta E is equal to px by m into delta px. If you look into this quantity, this quantity is the same as the quantity what we have here in our earlier in equation. So, what we are essentially left with, we are actually left with a new in equation which has energy and time in them. That is, the product of delta E and delta T being greater than h bar by 2. So, energy and time are also a conjugate pair related via the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. But hold on. What is this energy and what is the time that we are talking here? Consider a quantum system undergoing a process. During this process, it will either gain energy or lose energy. That is, there will be some energy exchange. This is the delta E that we talked earlier. Also, this will be taking place in an interval of time which we call the delta T. Let's consider an example. Think of two electrons interacting with each other very briefly. This interaction takes place by means of energy exchange and let us say this is an amount delta E. The time delta T in which this energy must be exchanged between the two electrons has a limit and is dictated by the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. The higher the amount of energy exchanged, the shorter the time it should take to exchange it. Thinking from another point of view, if we were doing a measurement of this energy as an experiment, what we would see? If the value of energy that we are measuring is very precise or accurate, the time of measurement must be large. On the other hand, if we perform the experiment in a very short time, energy that we measure will lose precision 
and we will get a spread in energy value. So, just like position and momentum, we get another conjugate pair, energy and time, which follows the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Here, I would also mention one more conjugate pair, which is the angular momentum and angular position. Remember, the momentum that we have been talking till now was linear momentum and our new conjugate pair comprises of angular momentum and angular position. So their uncertainty principle in equation looks like this. Delta L into delta phi is greater than or equal to h bar by 2 where L is the angular momentum of the system and phi is the angular position. If you want to read more about this pair in detail, you may go through this link. I have also mentioned this link in the description box. Now that we have discussed so much about the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, it is time that we ask this question that why is this principle important and what are its applications? Exactly, this is what we will be focusing on in the next video. So, that's all for now. Take care and be safe. See you soon. Bye.